Good morning and Happy New Year. In Mark chapter 14, there is this beautiful scene. Jesus is in the home of Simon the leper. And a woman comes along who has a, a jar of the most expensive perfume. It's in a, an alabaster jar and the perfume is made of pure nard. I don't know what those words mean, but it sounds like something so precious, something you would guard, something you would hold on to and save for a very special occasion. Well, she comes in and she breaks this jar open and she pours the perfume on Jesus' head. Some people are critical saying that was so expensive. It was worth a year's wages. Why, why couldn't it have been sold and the money given to the poor? And I'm sure some of the disciples are thinking, and Lord, aren't we poor? <laughs> but she breaks it open. She pours it on Jesus' head. And Jesus commends her. She says, leave her alone to the critics. And she says, it's a be Jesus says, it's a beautiful thing that she's done for me, preparing me for my burial. It was just a short time before Jesus would go to the cross and then be raised again. She was doing the right thing. As we go into this new year, may we live boldly like this woman. I think in this scene, we can identify with, with uh, any of these characters, maybe with Simon the leper. We, we've felt like we've always been an outsider. And here Jesus is. He wants to come and have a meal with us. Let him into your house uh, this year. Have a meal. Sit down. Talk with him. Be with him in the morning. Read his word. Let him speak to you and tell you wonderful things. We may be like the woman. Uh, we can take what is most valuable to us, our, our life or our time, or maybe there's some possession or uh, our thoughts, our hearts. The time is short. Jesus is only uh, with us in this way before he comes again for a short time. So may we use our lives boldly poured out everything used uh, for, for God's glory with nothing held back. <laughs> Last Christmas, my son gave me a sleeve of golf balls and I opened it and I was so happy. I said, Steve, I'm just going to use these for a special occasion. <laughs> and my son, uh, who's very wise, says, uh, Dad, you mean like golfing? <laughs> In other words, don't, don't wait. Uh, use the valuable thing uh, right away. And we may be like the critics. Sometimes we get too practical-minded and we, we hold back or we become selfish. We're looking out for ourselves. This is not the year to hold back. This is the year to go boldly, give up those things that are holding you back. And then sometimes we're like Judas, who at the end of this scene, he goes off to betray Jesus. It's just too much. He can't understand this one who has seems so wasteful, uh, so over the top in, in what he's talking about. But don't let Jesus throw you off with his uh, strange words and his demanding call and this amazing joy and abandon that he lives with and those who follow him live with. Just let go and go out boldly into this year. I'm praying for you. Let's have a short prayer now. Dear God, I pray for those uh, listening to this message. Bless them. Strengthen them. Give us eyes to see the things of your kingdom. May we go out boldly into this year, abandoning everything that holds us back. We love you. We praise you. We honor you. We give our lives to you this day. Hallelujah. Happy New Year.